Now, Boeing has begun a production of the first F-47 sixth-generation stealth fighter for the U.S. Air Force. Uh, this aircraft serves as a crude element of the broader next-generation air dominance. The advent of the sixth generation of fighter aviation arrived with significant but measured implications. In March 2025, within the intensifying landscape of global military competition, the Pentagon awarded the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, contract to Boeing. With this decision, the United States Air Force laid the foundation for its future approach to air combat in the coming decades. The F-47, Boeing's winning design, is now positioned as the core of the USAF strategy to counter evolving airborne threats. Manufacturing on the F-47 is now underway, with assembly occurring in secure, high-tech facilities. This process is leading directly toward the aircraft's anticipated maiden flight in 2028. According to USAF officials, experimental work supporting NGAD began in 2020, involving rigorous testing and evaluation phases. While many details of these tests remain undisclosed given their classified nature, their purpose was unambiguous to ensure the United States would deploy an aircraft capable of maintaining the technological edge necessary for future air superiority. The legacy of American air dominance has rested upon a succession of advanced platforms from the F-15 and F-22 to the more recent F-35. Yet, as global rivals accelerated their own modernization efforts, the US recognized the need to leap ahead rather than merely keep pace. The NGAD program, now embodied by the F-47, reflects this determination. The F-47 is envisioned as not just a new aircraft, but as an integrated solution to a changing battle space, a future defined by the proliferation of drones, the rise of autonomous systems, and advancements in adversary stealth and networked warfare. Thus, Boeing's F-47 initiates a new chapter. The discussion is not merely about the introduction of new technical features, but about how this platform could fundamentally alter the competitive landscape among major air forces. In this era, marked by persistent geopolitical uncertainty and technological sophistication, the F-47's arrival may well challenge traditional conceptions of what it means to hold a decisive edge in the air. The contest for air dominance. The F-47 story is inseparable from the contest that shaped it. Dominance of the skies has always required more than incremental improvements. It demands anticipating and overcoming the innovations of rivals. For the United States, achieving this standard has required both confronting hard lessons and making bold choices. The recent past shows that American technological strengths, even in the acclaimed F-22 and F-35 programs, faced persistent challenges as global competitors advanced their own capabilities. These developments raised critical questions within U.S. defense circles. How could the U.S. build a fighter that would maintain its edge, not just at the point of introduction, but throughout the duration of its service? The answer was not simply an improved airframe, but a fighter that is adaptable and deeply integrated into a networked battle space. The Department of Defense's NGAD requirements, therefore, signaled a break from tradition. Stealth, agility, and lethality would remain essential. But survivability would also require real-time data fusion, adaptability, and the capacity to operate as part of a broader web of manned and unmanned systems. This approach reflects a recognition that the battlefield now extends beyond the limits of single-platform capabilities. The NGAD contract was one of the Pentagon's most consequential, attracting intense competition among defense industry leaders. Each brought decades of technological innovation to bear. In March 2025, following a process defined by high stakes and exhaustive assessment, Boeing's proposal was selected. Thus, the F-47 was established not only as the next step in technological continuity, but as the central pillar of future American air doctrine. For Boeing's peers in industry, the conclusion of the NGAD selection process marked a significant inflection point. It brought an end to years of anticipation and speculation, tangibly shaping the future roadmap for American and allied air power. Boeing's return to the forefront. Securing the NGAD contract was a defining moment for Boeing. Historically, 
Boeing has contributed substantially across a wide array of military and civilian aviation projects, at times leading the way in innovation, and other times yielding to competitors. The NGAD victory affirmed the company's continued relevance in the highest tier of aerospace development. An important aspect of this achievement lies in the NGAD timeline itself. While speculation about sixth-generation fighters had circulated for years, serious technological experimentation began in 2020. The need for rapid adaptation to new and emerging threat environments drove an early and concerted effort by both industry and the military. Experimental flight tests conducted in this period gave critical insight into what would be required in the coming generation of air dominance. President Donald Trump's announcement of Boeing as the contract winner brought public visibility and underscored the program's strategic importance. With NGAD, expectations now rest on Boeing's ability to transform vision into operational reality by delivering an aircraft that meets or exceeds the demanding specifications set out by the Air Force. The evolving threat environment, including advances in hypersonic weapons and artificial intelligence, has increased the urgency for programs like NGAD. The schedule, early experimentation starting in 2020, construction in 2025, first flight anticipated in 2028, with operational capability expected in 2029, reflects an intention to close any potential capability gap as swiftly as possible. Winning the NGAD means more than technological advancement. It means synthesizing decades of lessons from earlier programs. The F-22 reigned as the world's premier fighter for years, though its superiority was inevitably challenged as adversaries improved. The F-35, lauded for its multi-role flexibility, also revealed the bureaucratic and financial complexities inherent in major defense procurement. For Boeing and the Air Force alike, the F-47 is an opportunity for a different approach. Integrating modularity, rapid upgrade paths, and digital engineering into every phase of development. Boeing's assembly lines have now begun turning these concepts into tangible hardware. The phrase, beginning to manufacture the first article, signifies the program's crossing from planning and design into physical reality, a moment that reflects organizational resolve and national strategic intent. NGAD, redefining the rules of engagement. The selection of Boeing's F-47 is significant, not only for what it achieves technologically, but for what it signals doctrinally. NGAD is based on an understanding that superiority now depends on sustained innovation in networked operations and adaptability. The requirements for the NGAD program are grounded in the realities of modern warfare. In an age where sophisticated sensor networks, integrated defenses, and autonomous systems are commonplace, surviving and dominating in contested domains demands more than previous generations could offer. The Air Force determined that the next fighter would be judged by its ability to function as a key node within a dynamic, multi-domain ecosystem. Processing real-time intelligence, orchestrating joint operations, and responding rapidly to unforeseen threats. From the inception of experimental trials in 2020, through extensive analysis and selection in 2025, NGAD development placed a premium on system-level integration as opposed to isolated gains in airframe or sensor capabilities. The F-47's mission is not to win battles by itself, but to contribute decisively to a network of manned, unmanned, and space-based systems. This approach to air dominance fundamentally changes the air power competition. Incremental advancements, those small, steady improvements of the past, are less decisive in a world where software, data integration, and the ability to adapt in real time determine survivability and effectiveness. Under NGAD, the F-47 is being built from the ground up to thrive, not only in today's environment, but within whatever comes next. This philosophy marks a departure from past doctrine, moving toward a future where flexibility and upgradability are essential. Why is this significant? because, historically, the side that embraced innovation most effectively has enjoyed the greatest advantage. By taking a holistic view of what sixth-generation air dominance requires and accelerating the path to fielding it, the F-47 sets a new standard for leadership in the sky, the timeline of transformation. 
The pace at which the F-47 has moved from concept to production is notable. The timeline begins with the early stages of experimentation in 2020 and extends through the transition to manufacturing in 2025. The first flight, set for 2028, will represent the tangible arrival of sixth generation capability. Full operational status, targeted for 2029, is an aggressive schedule by the standards of such complex defense programs. Each phase of this schedule is tightly linked to the evolving threat environment. The US Air Force, in collaboration with Boeing, prioritized rapid prototyping, rigorous digital modeling, and early red teaming of concepts against advanced hypothetical threats. Only those technologies and approaches that survived intensive scrutiny and testing advanced beyond the design stage. The commitment to begin manufacturing in 2025 coincides with the transition to building actual prototypes. Publicly acknowledging a schedule with these milestones serves a dual purpose. It signals domestic resolve and communicates to potential adversaries that the United States is actively closing any possible window of vulnerability. A successful first flight in 2028 will be a demonstration of years of preparation and will serve as a key proof point for the program's progress. Bringing such a sophisticated fighter to maturity and into service by 2029 is an indication of the urgency and discipline driving this effort. Delays in fielding advanced capabilities are not merely administrative concerns, they carry real strategic risk in a highly dynamic global security environment. For defense leaders, this timeline has important implications for deterrence and influence. Public milestones reassure allies of American capability and preparedness, while signaling to competitors that the opportunity to catch up is narrowing. The disciplined approach to development and the publicized schedule support broader national security objectives, deterring would-be challenges and reinforcing the message that U.S. air power remains at the leading edge. Strategic impact and deterrence. The impact of the F-47 extends beyond its operational capabilities. Just as previous leaps in aircraft design influenced adversary planning and global security calculations, so too does the emergence of the sixth generation fighter. Strategic deterrence is increasingly underpinned by visible advancements in technology and the clear commitment to deploy them. Even as the F-47 moves from early manufacturing into flight testing and then toward deployment, the fact of its existence already shapes the strategic environment. Its development is public knowledge, its schedule is announced. These factors combine to force competitors to revise their own plans, investments, and doctrines. In effect, the F-47 becomes a benchmark against which other nations must measure their own modernization efforts. The ability of the F-47 to integrate with off-board sensor networks, process and fuse real-time data, and operate alongside both manned and unmanned assets is particularly important. This multi-domain, networked approach presents a formidable challenge to adversaries, driving up the cost and complexity of developing effective counters. As these requirements are embedded in the F-47's core design, they are not easily circumvented or rendered obsolete through incremental improvements by others. This is the heart of strategic deterrence in the modern era. The F-47 does not merely pose a challenge on the battlefield, it shifts the strategic calculus of potential adversaries before any confrontation occurs. The transparent commitment to operational readiness by 2029 and the steady progress visible in manufacturing serve to reinforce these effects. For US and Allied commanders, the F-47's development and deployment provide renewed assurance that American air power will remain credible and capable. For adversaries, it represents a moving target, one requiring investment and innovation on a scale that is difficult, if not impossible, to match in the short term, beyond incremental progress. Historically, military aviation advanced in a series of measurable steps, faster, stealthier, more capable, each innovation extending the window of superiority. The rise of the F-47, and the conclusion of the NGAD competition mark the end of this incremental era, at least within current strategic horizons. What distinguishes the F-47 from its predecessors is the way its very development embodies rapid, iterative adaptation 
within a disciplined, integrated framework. Experimental work began in 2020, with every stage designed to allow feedback and adjustment as technology and threats evolved. Unlike earlier programs, which were often constrained by legacy systems or institutional inertia, the F-47 is structured to receive upgrades, new technologies, and mission reconfigurations throughout its life cycle. This shift is fundamental. Where once adversaries could plan on a rough parity by imitating or countering the last American advance, the F-47's inherent flexibility and upgradability raise the bar. With network integration and ongoing evolution built into its core, the traditional stepwise arms race gives way to a more dynamic and demanding model of competition, one that forces challengers to start anew under less favorable conditions. For the Air Force, and for Boeing as the industrial partner, this means a continuous responsibility to keep the F-47 adaptive, resilient, and capable of prevailing against new threats throughout its service. In this way, the F-47 offers not just a generational advance, but a blueprint for how to sustain an enduring strategic advantage. A new benchmark for air power. The selection, development and upcoming deployment of the F-47 as the NGAD platform establishes a new reference point for global air power. With manufacturing underway and key program milestones publicly signaled, the impact of the F-47 is already felt in military and strategic circles around the world. This benchmark is not defined solely by technological novelty, but by the disciplined process that transformed bold concepts into executable realities. Years of careful planning, iterative experimentation, and focused investment have brought the F-47 to the brink of flight. In an era when speed of innovation and reliability of delivery are as important as the raw ability to push the boundaries of technology, the F-47 program exemplifies an approach that blends both strengths. For the United States and its allies, the F-47 reinforces the credibility of the U.S. commitment to mutual defense and technological leadership. For adversaries weighing their own investments, the F-47's public milestones and aggressive timeline pose a direct challenge to their ability to compete effectively. Perhaps most significantly, the program demonstrates a shift in both mindset and capability. No longer is the value of a fighter measured only by its design at rollout, but by its capacity to adapt and maintain superiority over time. The F-47 resets expectations for what a new generation of fighters must achieve, not just at launch, but throughout the life of the program. Looking forward, with the F-47 NGAD fighter in production and its maiden flight anticipated in 2028, a new era in military aviation is underway. The program represents the outcome of years of strategy, innovation and collaboration, reflecting both the risks of falling behind and the belief in American technological leadership. Each stage, from experimental trials in 2020 to manufacturing in 2025, to the pursuit of operational capability by 2029 has advanced American air power and renewed deterrence in the face of rapid global change. For the Air Force, the F-47 is the answer to mounting challenges, ensuring a credible, adaptable and sustainable edge. The broader meaning is clear. The F-47's progress does not signify the end of all competition. Innovation will continue, as it always has, but it does establish new terms for participation. The pace, flexibility, and integrated nature of the F-47 program set a high bar for rivals and allies alike. As the world observes the ongoing development, the operational debut of the F-47 will stand as a concrete demonstration that the United States Air Force remains committed to maintaining and extending its air dominance. In doing so, the F-47 embodies not just a technological triumph, but a strategic vision, one that acknowledges the challenges ahead and commits to meeting them at the leading edge of capability and readiness. With the F-47, Boeing and the United States Air Force have defined the next stage of air power. In an environment shaped by relentless competition, the decisive steps taken today ensure that the future of American air superiority is being built by design, by discipline, and with an eye firmly on the evolving horizon.